Hey, lovers, this is PDH with Love on Tour, and this is my review of one of Mandalay Bay's specialty suites. Let's do it. <laughs> Hey lovers, I know it's been a while, but as you know, travel is extremely limited right now. So this is my review of the Mandalay Bay Specialty Moray Suite. Vegas has become my little playground and I've stayed at so many suites in Vegas over the last year. Uh, I can't even name them all, but I have reviews coming from them all. I'm currently platinum uh, in M Life because of all these trips and stays. And I just go there, I work, it's a nice little getaway. So let's talk about this suite. One of the things that I love the most is that it's on the 62nd floor. It is extremely high up. I think it's their top floor before you get to the foundation room. And I love suites that have that bathroom at the very top of the room, right when you come in the door. So guests can go to that bathroom. Or if you're a couple, somebody can be using a bathroom, somebody can be taking a shower. As you can see, there's lots of great seating in this room. The big uh, L-shaped couch there, chairs, uh, and also this space here in the back uh, with the large table. I loved using that to work on um, because I got to spread out. Now, what I don't understand is why these rooms, especially these VIP suites, don't have larger televisions. Like, why wouldn't you put a 75-inch TV in a room this big? That little 45-inch TV just really worked my nerves and I know you say you don't go to travel to watch TV but again I'm in there working or sometimes I order dinner and I just eat in and I like to look at television uh, while I'm doing that so although these seats back here look comfortable they weren't very comfortable at all especially in a full work day but it was cool to have my zoom meetings and have the nice little picture in the background and I moved from the bench to the chairs etc etc this is a large suite, almost 1,500 square feet, so it was massive in terms of the full scope of it. Now over here, they had the wet bar, which for some strange reason had an exit door uh, right from the bar. Now, I guess the parties get a little wild in Vegas. I don't really roll like that anymore, but if the party got wild and you needed to get out and you couldn't get to the front door, that's your exit. Now what I love about the bar space in a lot of these Mandalay Bay uh, suites is that they have lots of drawer space, lots of cabinet space underneath. And I like to bring my own utensils uh, because again, sometimes I don't like to eat in the restaurants, I just order out so I don't have to be around a lot of folks. Uh, they also had the mini bar under there and then a nice little mini refrigerator. Uh, as you can see, I bring my own waters, juices, and soft drinks as well. So that's always nice when you have a refrigerator uh, that you can uh, bring some things for. Now again, I like how they used the space in this room. There wasn't a lot of wasted space. There is a foyer there um, that's a little large, but other than that, not a lot of wasted space. In the bedroom here, a nice king size bed, a lot of floor space, which is cool. And then you also have the desk over there where you can work and kind of look out of the big window, which is cool. Um, but I, you know, again, just not as much room to actually spread out. Then uh, you also have uh, some seating in the corner there uh, and it did have the little media bar where you can put your Amazon stick under the television and that worked pretty well it's still weird it works sometimes and because it didn't work in the living room but it worked in the bedroom uh, and then the little sound bar so that was cool Now, I did have two nice size closets. Now, I'm the type of guy that I like to unpack, hang everything up. Sometimes I even iron it uh, and hang it up so I don't have to think about leaving, don't have to think about getting ready. Uh, everything is just ready and set to go. But it did have two nice spaces, uh, more than enough for a couple to have enough space to hang their clothes up. Now, again, a large lighted window in the bathroom with the TV inside the window, which I don't get. Uh, as I said in my other video, if it was me, I'd put the TV in the water closet where you have nothing but time on your hands. But uh, if I'm in the jacuzzi, the last thing I want to do is watch television.
Now the room did have a lot of elegant accessories and, and finishes. Uh, the nice uh, shower there, um, the tile work was nice, the jacuzzi was great. And then you can see here with the pocket doors uh, leading out to the living room, a very nice elegant feel uh, walking out to the living room. Now this was a very nice suite that I, I really enjoyed. Uh, one of my favorites here uh, in Vegas, probably second to the Aria penthouse suite, but that suite is extremely extremely expensive. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But other than that, uh, it's very reasonably priced. I believe I paid just over $250 or somewhere like that. Again, I am Platinum M Life, so I do get discounted rates, but where else are you going to get a 1,500 square foot four-star suite um, for less than $300 a night? So Vegas is just unmatched in terms of the value you get um, for what you spend. And again, I love the water elements here at the Mandalay Bay. You are down at the end of the strip, but the cool thing is that you can, it's a very easy walk to Luxor and then Excalibur and then New York, New York, and then you're across the street from MGM and then you're next to Aria. So your food options are massive as you start to walk toward the inner parts of the strip. So that's it for this quick review of the Mandalay Bay specialty suite, the Moray Suite. This is PDH with Love on Tour. And remember, it's love above all, especially now. I'll catch you next time. Peace.